So I was going on a walk with my daughter and I was telling her, hey, did you know that, you know, mom's going to launch this podcast? And she said, I've heard you talking about it. She's like, what's it called? And I said, it's called Scared Confident. What do you think that means? And she's like, I, you know, I don't, I don't totally know. And I said, well, you know how sometimes you're afraid to do something, but you're more afraid of being left out. And so you do it anyway. That is what Scare Confidence all about. We all are asked in our days and our roles and our time to do things we're afraid of. But if we allow that first fear to be the thing that stops us, we will never be able to grant ourselves the life that we all dream of. And I think I started to see early on, if I don't have a mastery of fear, of knowing how to identify it inside of myself, to understand my, ten my first tendencies with fear, if I don't master that moment, I'm never going to be able to run through the walls as quickly as I want to be able to. I'm going to run out of years. <laughs> and, you know, as you get older, you start to understand time is finite. And I didn't want that to be my life story, even though if it was the story for a short period of time. Fear is such a selfish perspective. When we live and choose living a life from the vantage point of fear, where we give it control, it makes us the central character in the story. I'm afraid about what might happen to me. I'm afraid about what, how I might get hurt. I'm afraid about how I might be embarrassed. I'm afraid about what people might say about me. Like all of that narrative is making yourself the centerpiece of the story. And if we lived our days instead through the perspective of what did I miss if I didn't step into every opportunity? And I don't mean miss like from an experience perspective, but like who did I miss out serving? Who did I miss out on leading? Who did I miss out on imparting what life has taught me into someone? Else? Like, what did I miss out on giving because I was stuck in a moment of fear? And I don't think that's what life is really about. I'm Tiffany Souter. I'm an entrepreneur, speaker, wife, and mother of four. And this is Scared Confident. I want people to understand we're all on this journey. And this is not a podcast of absolute truth. This is a podcast of pursuit of truth. I'm conscious of the fact that I may come to a conclusion that then additional life experience starts to help me see that differently. It's a journey. And I want to be really transparent about that. Absolute truth is a thing for me. Like I'm comfortable being like, I'm going to think that's true and execute against it and see if it works or not. I want people to understand and I want people to hear that we're going to work this out together. And if you are like me and both that little girl and your adult self or that child and adult self lays in bed at night and in your bones, you feel and understand that you're here for a reason, that you have things to do, people to impact, a world to change. If that's you, this vulnerable journey of the pursuit of what could be, of being comfortable enough to be both scared and confident, to give language to both the fears and the opportunities in our life with equal fervor, energy, and ownership, then join me on this journey as I unpack my life in front of all of you and we spend some time chewing through the questions and space in your own lives and journeys that require you to be both scared and confident.